So basically, when you look at it, all Matt Dillon films are good. You can even go back all the way back. To Rumblefish, even Bodyguard. Let me go back further. Bo bodyguard, Rumblefish. You got Drugstore Cowboy. He keeps on going and going and going. And you got the House of Jack built. And one of the reasons why. Well, he was the last method actor. One of the last, I guess, true method actors that studied under the great Lee Strasberg at the Actor Studio in New York. Matt Dillon really studied with him. He was a young kid when he did it. There's something weird about that teacher, or something mystic about that teacher. And you could only say that maybe he's the last of the method, but then other people would argue and say, no, that's not true. Because you have to define really what the method is. But filmmakers will give their opinion on it. Because I guess this guy can teach this guy, and that guy can teach that guy, and there's a long level. There's a long um, line that connects them. Oh, I guess so. But like I said, there's certain there's certain actors where they only do good films. There's a rumor that Gene Hackman's never done a bad film. I'd have to really go back and study Matt Dillon. I know he did some comedies, but there's a possibility. That maybe Matt Dillon uh, never did a bad film. I don't know for sure. I have to go back and look at everything. But there's a possibility, is all I'm saying. You might could say that about Keitel. But then again, he didn't get to do Apocalypse Now. Martin Sheen did it instead. And that probably made him mad. Maybe not. But the thing is, is that some of them never do any, any, any bad films, you know. But it just depends on what you think a bad film is. Everybody's got their opinion. I'd say, you know, most people do have an opinion about something.